picture we took many years ago When I said to you we would never grow old Messages I've saved that I never send Cause I don't know you, but I used to back then I remember that I was drunk out my mind When we kissed for the first time In the back of your car we passed out counting stars How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And actually, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So, guys, I want to take you along with me to the market to buy some ingredients for the amazing recipes mentioned below. And that is to Mary Christ. We have stuff fried mixed vegetables and beef stew. Guys, three recipes in one video. Watch this to the end to see the amazing results of easy homemade recipes. Small town. Got a place at school you didn't hang around Every day you're far away These streets don't feel the same Everywhere is painted with your name I remember that I was drunk out my mind When we kissed for the first time In the back of your car We passed out counting stars Promised all these years We pack our things and disappear I never thought I would see you here to all this time and the supermarket please before you come at me for the item i went for in the supermarket guys i'm that one person who can walk into a supermarket pick one uh, piece of um, or a packet of milk pick a loaf of bread and leave walk majestically to the counter queue behind a person who has a full trolley of shopping pay for my packet of milk and leave yeah reasons you know, like this pack of milk, mtaani, it goes for 60 shillings where I live. 60 bob. And kwa super, it's 50 shillings. If I'm around town or the center, why not? Yeah, that is me for you. And also, my baby only takes KCC packed milk. That is what she loves. Any other brand, she can't consume. Hawe, zutamuake, itakapo kwa chupa. And also... Uh, at home here um, uh, in my house we usually use the ATM milk actually it's not precisely ATM we have a farmer around in our neighborhood so you kamua maziwa ya ngombe that is what you use I love that milk I also ferment it if you want to know how I do it uh, you can comment down below and I'll do it for you on camera and uh, also guys bread ukingia kwa supermarket you have variety and especially quick matter neighbors. It may be baked right there. So that it's very fresh. Yeah. So that's me for you. So allow me to show you the other ingredients and straight on to our cooking. So apart from the milk, I got some yama. This one I just needed kidogo. This is beef. Normally in my house, people take bulgi but for this recipe i needed this specific one beef okay have some mishiri do they call them french beans okay and then dania for garnishing then uh pick some tomatoes yeah some few and then Picked some courgettes, peppers, yeah, pili pili, some garlic, there. Uh -huh. And then finally, I got this broccoli. So in my other stock, I have some other items. So I'm going to include carrots, 
going to include rice the other items are available this was what i didn't have yeah and so guys we're going to begin with marinating and of course our apron on of course says subscribe guys subscribe so i'm going to marinate my beef and give it uh, 30 minutes rest then we're going to go in with that right so in here i have garlic i'm going to add a uh, curry powder little bit of it okay and then i'm going to add my soy sauce just a little right and then mix that you can see i'm mixing so next i'm going to wash my beef really good in here i'm going to put it in here and wash it I'm going to put all my mixed ingredients in the beef and then marinate that mix that well using one of my silicone spoons I have so many I'm even confused which one to use and so guys I'm going to use one of my silicone set piece and that is a, a tongue to mix this no more mixing with hands yes guys so you can get this one uh, this set as well yeah it's really amazing really beautiful and you know it acts as a, you know a beautiful item in your kitchen this is a, an uh, 11 piece yeah it comes in different colors mine is, is black yeah so you can uh, contact bossy households she's the lady who sold me this she is really amazing guys Price Anna Yenyakonayo, Aki Kwambe, if you negotiate a bit, by the way, Anna Punguza, she's really nice and she does delivery as well. You can trust her. Yes, you can lipa pole pole, ukimaliza kulipa, and then Anna kupatia whatever ulikuna taka kupatis. She has several kitchen items. Yes, you can contact her and uh, here are some of the photos of the items that she sells. Walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town For those who might be asking, I'm always left-handed If you've been having doubts I can confirm. Yeah, I'm left-handed. Right? Yep. And so we're going to seal that. Cover that for 30 minutes. And so guys, I thought I should mention how I store my carrots, keeping them fresh the entire time. These carrots, they have stayed in the fridge for quite some time. As you can see, yeah, zikompaka na nikama mawe. You feel that? This is how you store your carrots. Wash them nicely, put them in a jar ama in a container, seal them, na maji kiwandani store that in your fridge they will serve you for quite a long time this one are almost a month and you can see it as me shanza kumeamea but still very fresh as you can see the shanza kumeamea but very fresh so you can do this that's a hack okay so you go on so as we wait for our our beef to marinate we're going to chop our other ingredients okay so i'm going to divide this into some portions into halves actually 
this missionaries of mine actually before before i washed i removed the edges you know this ends i removed the ends so i'm going, I'm going to divide that into two okay so i'm going to boil this or even blanch for maybe 20 minutes I'm going to add some little bit of salt and bicarbonate of soda just a quarter teaspoon so guys into our french beans or mishiri i'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda you know to avoid discoloration and then add some salt just a bit this will help with discoloration okay boil that for 20 minutes maximum okay and also to mention i'm not going to cover because covering will uh, overcook and discoloration will come in so i need them to irate as they cook yeah moving on i'm going to slice the rest of the ingredients i've washed all the vegetables so i'm going to slice them I love my broccoli crunchy and actually this is really healthy and very tasty yes guys this is really good I know most people don't like it but just try and cook this and eat it's this aside and so i have cooled that with cold water to avoid further cooking yeah and discoloration as you can see the color is well maintained so next in our pan we're going to add our beef add some bit of water add some water a little bit more and then cook that till it's tender actually marinating helps in tenderizing meat so it won't take long to cook it will take maybe 30 minutes and it will be okay And so for our rice, I'm going to put some oil into our pan. Then allow that to heat up a little bit. Then I'm going to add in our onion. And then I want to spice that up. I'm going to add some coconut milk followed by the turmeric. Cook that well. Then add hot water. Yeah. This is uh, the ratio. If you're cooking one cup of uh, rice, use two cups of water. If you're cooking two cups of rice, do four cups. So I'm going to do that. So add some onions. Just a bit. So I had to exchange the source of heat for a little bit of time and I'm going to I'm going to change it to the other side because that one is slow. Yeah. So 
some challenges you can always find in the kitchen okay so mix your onions cook them well now once the onions are translucent we're going to add our turmeric i love my turmeric well cooked because it's if it's not well cooked she wants a vibaya okay see vibaya as such but just a little like a teaspoon of turmeric cook that with the onions for me i love cooking them together i love my turmeric well cooked okay. once the, they're cooked go in with your coconut milk that well I can smell the aroma of coconut really amazing so next I'm gonna go in with my two cups of water because I'm going to, I'm going to cook a, just a cup of rice this is hot water I pre-boiled it Add salt. Okay. Mix that well. So add your washed rice. Mix that and cover. And also guys, slow cook. Reduce your heat, the lowest section. Yes, to slow cook. Rice comes out best when slow cooked. So I'm going to interchange the two. Because I need my rice slow cooked and that farthest cooker section is slow. Yeah, so I'm going to reduce it more. See, it's still cooking. As you can see our beef is almost ready actually very ready but i need it to dry then continue the cooking as for the rice mm, nice it's almost done give it some more minutes so you can see our rice is now ready look at that it's moja moja love that and it, the aroma guys very nice it's really nice it's ready so i'm gonna leave it open and then proceed with the rest of the items so finally our nyama is well cooked well cooked yeah i always love when it's a bit dry you may even be zooming and then it's also to go go yeah
So I added a little bit of water and then I'm gonna blend this. mixed vegetables so in our pan this is this pan is not dirty it's the one that i used to boil the mixed uh, the what the mishiris yeah so put some oil there allow that to heat up then we're going to add our onions so put onions I'm going to add some little bit more oil, just a little. So mix until they are golden brown. On this other side, I'm going to to cook the meat now, the beef stew. So add some oil, then add onions too. Allow that to cook. So back on this other side, as you can see, the onions are well cooked, translucent, and brown. That's okay. So I'm gonna go in with my mixed veg, all of them. Water, just drops, bits, you know. That's enough. And then cover that and allow to cook for 10 minutes on low heat. On low heat, be careful, do not overcook them. So, on this other side, cook your onion swell and then add garlic once that is done we're going to add our our curry again just a little bit so we wait that to brown a bit more because of the garlic just a bit of it then go in with some bit of garam masala just a, a quarter teaspoon now then mix that mix that well then remember our mixed vegetables we're going to add the uh, French beans in there. Yeah, we're going to add French beans at this particular stage. So here we go in with the our uh, blended tomatoes. Mix that. Then put your beef in there. Remember, we had chopped some stalks. Let your stalks go in. Those are Dania stalks. Mm. 
leave the dania behind for later. So mix that well. We had already uh, put some salt, but that was not enough. So can add a bit more. Okay. I'm not going to add any water when blending the tomatoes I had added a little bit of water so that will work so moving on to our mixed vegetables you can see they're doing very well so I'm going to add some Add the mushrooms. This one, so remember them. They go in there. When blanching them, we had put some salt, so no need to add any extra salt. That will work. Now, don't cover. Allow that to open cook. Allow that to open cook for maybe three minutes. Because the the mishiris are well cooked, not well. They are they are crunchy, but they are okay. This mixed veg is well cooked. You know they are crunchy and very tasty. That's done. We check on our beef next. This is also done. See. So we're going to garnish that with some dania. And serve. amazing that meal is let me have a taste you know Woo. Hmm. the rice look at how in our channel mm -hmm. and our nyama and a smaller piece mm. Mm. yum man And the veggies, no, so crunchy. Hmm? Mm -hmm. I love this. This is a five, six, seven star hotel in my house. You can do that as well in your own house, all right. So as I was saying guys, you can as well do that in your own home. It's very easy, very tasty, very healthy, actually organic, right? So guys, if you've watched to the end, I know you've loved this video. Please give it a thumbs up, a like, and also subscribe if you've not subscribed. Thank you so much for keeping it with me. Bye-bye.